Hi folks, John Cordisco back again. Got a great game here, great game. This is from the B Group at the 76 Tata Steel a chess tournament currently being played in the Netherlands. Normally I just go over games in the A Group. This B Group game is a great game. Pretty high rated too for a B Group. It's from Boak, I think he's from the Netherlands. He's 2560 and you a uh, young talent female from China rated 2677. She's in the B group and she's almost rated 2700. Anyway, folks, it's going to be a Sicilian book from the Netherlands has white and U has black. We're going to get to it. C5, knight f3, e6. D4, pawn takes, knight takes, a6. Interesting, like a lot of Sicilians, if you go here, the knight, knight c6, typical Sicilian stuff. a6, bishop d3, knight f6. Black's a little high behind the development, but that's just common in Sicilians. Castles, d6, c4, kind of a Mercosi bind setup almost with a pawn on c4 and e4. Bishop e7, knight c3. B6, F4. Here we go with a pawn storm. It's like Book is going after him. Well, she's rated over 100 rating points higher than he is. She's almost 2,700. Bishop B7. Got to give the kid credit going after somebody rated so high. Queen E2. Castles. King H1. Knight B, D7. Bishop D2. Pretty much typical stuff. It's about a half, well, maybe a half a point advantage for white so far. Just typical even. Queen c7. Rook d1. Black brings the other rook. Knight comes off the middle of the board. It goes to f3. Now this, I'm a little surprised that a person of this caliber would play this move and weaken the king side. But she went g6. She's a little crap, but I don't understand the g6 move. I don't know why she did that. And, of course, now, here he comes. He's coming after her. f5. Gains space. Goes after the king side. Rook comes over. f takes. f takes. I don't understand why she would move the rook from here to here when this file was going to open. That one I don't understand. But then again, she's almost a 2,700 rated player. Knight comes up. Bishop f8. She wanted the bishop there. Obviously, why she moved the rook, but still don't get it. Queen e3. Some are wondering maybe c5 was worth looking at, I think. Bishop here. And that's a precarious spot for black. Probably survive it, but it'd be tough. Queen e3, h6, e5, knight g4, going ahead and a queen, queen. And this is where I think you from China miscues. She should have played. Takes the knight, queen takes. Knight takes e4, I think was the way to go. I think she can survive that without a problem. Instead of that, she played knight takes. And the score went from a small advantage for white to almost a two-point advantage for white immediately. Knight f7. Who saw that one coming? Besides the computer. Knight to f7. Great move. Rook to d1. Excuse me, d7. And white plays this beautifully. Knight takes, knight takes. Now think here, you're white. What do you do? So there's the point of some of these videos to watch is to figure out what you would do. So pause the video here and see what you would do as white. Rook takes e5. Great move. 
great move. I think worth considering might have been bishop takes, and after knight takes, bishop takes, rook g7. But it's not as good for white. Now it starts. Now the pressure starts for black. After rook takes e5, pawn takes. Again, what do you do here? You're white. Pause the video. See what you would do. Almost everything else draws. One move here puts you pretty well ahead. Bishop takes h6. Wonderful. Just wonderful. If, if you had taken with the queen like a lot of people would, this would have happened. Rook. Rook takes check. Rook takes. Queen takes e6 check. Rook f7. Rook takes. Rook takes. And I'll tell you the truth. Black is way, way ahead. This bishop's bearing down. You can't protect it. Not for long. You got a rook here. You got a rook here. Those three pawns aren't always so free. Now, under the pressure, this is where black miscues again. Rook to g7. If she, she had taken rook checks in its mate in two. So she saw that and figured that was the only thing she could do. Bishop takes rook e to e7. What would have happened if queen takes c4? Bishop checks, king. Bishop checks, rook takes, rook f7 check, bishop g7, bishop takes g7. You get the point. Game's over. After rook e to e7, queen to h3. If the bishop had taken, just makes it easier for white. After bishop takes g7, rook takes g7, queen to g4. And black is doomed. After queen to h3, black miscues again. She's young. Is she an experience of being under this kind of pressure, especially in a tournament with this prestige? Because you have to remember, the winner of the B group goes on to play in the A group next year automatically. So she's probably thinking of her chances. And the pressure got to her. It's move 26, so it's not time control problems. Queen takes c4. Causes even bigger problems. Bigger problems. Should have played rook. Bishop. Rook. Rook. Queen. She might have survived that. After queen takes c4, bishop checks. Wonderful move. Deflection. King takes. If rook had taken, rook takes mate. After king, bishop takes g7. King takes g7. Queen to g3. King to h7. Rook takes c8, and everything's coming down on her. Rook to g7, rook to h4, check. King to g6, rook to g3. I think he was trying to pick up some time on his clock. Repeated a couple of moves here. King to g6, b3, chasing away the queen. Where's the queen going to go? Nowhere. Queen to d4. Queen takes check. King to h5, queen to f5, check. And this is where you from China resigned. After queen to f5, king to h6, rook checks, rook, and rook takes mate. Beautiful game from the young man from the Netherlands, Bach, that's B-O-K, is his name is spelled, rated almost 2,600. My understanding he's got three of his, needs one more GM norm, become a GM. He's probably the highest rated I am in the world because <laughs> he's almost 2,600. And you, young girl, almost 2,700. Oh, us old guys are in a lot of trouble. Anyway, folks, 
that's the great game. Second game from today. I picked the game from Group B because I thought it was a great game. Uh, look for more games from the Tata Steel 2014 tournament. And remember, if you think chess is just a game, you're not playing it right. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.